Thank you. 
We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise for this wonderful day that you have made, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. You welcome my brother and sisters. Let's quickly now move on to the Bible readings. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 16, from verse 1 to end, and first Thessalonians chapter 3. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. First Samuel chapter 16 from verse 1 to end. We're going to use our our computer to play it. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, open our eyes of understanding this morning. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Chapter 16 When David had passed a little beyond the summit, Ziba the servant of Mephibosheth met him with a couple of donkeys saddled, bearing 200 loaves of bread, a 100 bunches of raisins, a hundred of summer fruits, and a skin of wine. And the king said to Ziba, Why have you brought these? Ziba answered, The donkeys are for the king's household to ride on, the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine for those who faint in the wilderness to drink. And the king said, And where is your master's son? Ziba said to the king, Behold, he remains in Jerusalem, for he said, Today the house of Israel will give me back the kingdom of my father. Then the king said to Ziba, Behold, all that belonged to Mephibosheth is now yours. And Ziba said, I pay homage. Let me ever find favor in your sight, my lord the king. When King David came to Bahurim, there came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. And as he came, he cursed continually. And he threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And Shimei said as he cursed, Get out, get out, you man of blood, you worthless man. The Lord has avenged on you all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned, and the Lord has given the kingdom into the hand of your son Absalom. See, your evil is on you, for you are a man of blood. Then Abishai the son of Zeruiah said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? If he is cursing because the Lord has said to him, Curse David, who then shall say, Why have you done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, 
Behold, my own son seeks my life. How? You see how humble David was. See what I'm saying that David was the most humble person in this in the planet of in this in this earth. He was a king, and now he was going with his entourage. A worthless person. What is that person means like someone who have tried everything in life and failed, and there's no hope for him. And therefore, they are looking for where they will just, you know, pet, just someone who will kill them. Begin the cause, David, and the someone who was drunk. Cause, cause, David. You go and take away the kingdom for, for, from him, saying, "You're going to have so long." The one of his men had it was so angry. Let me go and cut off his head. David said, "Why should you do that? If God decided to cause me through him, let him do. Let him do." You can see the kind of insult that David received. Even with that, he was, you know, you remember in this stage, he was so, uh, you know, he was running away for his life. He was running away for his life. Because his son had decided to destroy him and his kingdom and take over the kingdom from him. Because he had started intercepting every order or every, you know, responsibility of the king. Now, it's now his son that is taking care of the responsibility of the king. And he's not ready to be. They just you know, like what happened between him and, and, and Saul. He left and ran away. May God help us in the name of Jesus. See here, he valued someone's life, even the worthless person's life, than the throne. He valued, you know, may God help us in the name of Jesus. You see, when God said, David is a man after my own heart, he is not. It's not joking. Yeah, David killed a lot of people, but he does that with the, you know, with instruction. Even in this horrible state of his, that everything was totally upside down, he was able to still have control over his anger. He was still able to have control over his anger. Oh no! Just, oh, just, uh, just it wouldn't, it's, it's, even if he don't say anything, that guy would have gone and chop off his head. He said, "Don't do that." And God help us in the name of Jesus. I pray, whatever we go through in life, you see that grace to have control over whatever that is going on. For help me, Lord Jesus, help me, Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, help us, Lord Jesus. So we don't allow the the program of the enemy that has been set against us. To make us to lose what you have for us, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go on. Much more now may this Benjaminite leave him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. It may be that the Lord will look on the wrong done to me, and that the Lord will repay me with good for his cursing today. <laughs> so David and his man went on the road, while Shimei went along on the hillside opposite him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him and flung dust. Imagine. And the king and all the people who were with him arrived weary at the Jordan, <laughs> and there he refreshed himself. Now Absalom and all the people, the men of Israel, came to Jerusalem, and Ahithophel with him. And when Hushai the archite, David's friend, came to Absalom, Hushai said to Absalom, Long live the king, long live the king. And Absalom said to Hushai, Is this your loyalty to your friend? Why did you not go with your friend? And Hushai said to Absalom, No, for whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel have chosen, his I will be, and with him I will remain. And again, whom should I serve? Should it not be his son? As I have served your father, so I will serve you. Then Absalom said to Ahithophel, Give your counsel. What shall we do? Ahithophel said to Absalom, Go into your father's concubines, whom he has left to keep the house, and all Israel will hear that you have made yourself a stench to your father, and the hands of all who are with you will be strengthened. See the reason why it's not good to trust on any man. Absalom was one of the best, or one of the closest men to David. And here, he went to Absalom, telling Absalom that, yes, I serve your father, but now you God have chosen you. I will serve you also. Then now uh, Absalom asked him now to give his counsel. To give his counsel of destruction. 
May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray every unfriendly friend, any man, any woman that you have had, they now turn against us to destroy us. Let heaven, let the water, let the air fight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the ordinances, let the elements fight for us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, use everything that you have created, the Lord, to defend your children from every wickedness of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Those who are using the wind, using the air, using the water, using all manners of rain, Father Lord, you are against us. Father Lord, you are fight for us, Lord, and deliver us from the hands of our cruel enemies in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue. So they pitched a tent for Absalom on the roof. And Absalom went into his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Now in those days the counsel that Ahithophel gave was as if one consulted the word of God. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel esteemed, both by David and by Absalom. Absalom gave the advice. They should go and sleep. They should go and sleep with all the concubines of David. May God have mercy in the name and deliver us from such kind of wicked souls. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of your Father, your mercy, Lord, we pray. Your mercy, we pray, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. First Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 3, from verse 1 to end. So, we're supposed to defend David. David had been there for him all this while. Now, teaming up against his master. See, that's what we're losing in life. If you, if you buy the hand that is helping you or feeding you, you don't buy it. You don't, don't do that. When you do it, you are plotting your own massive downfall. Because God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, this morning that you repent, there's still an opportunity for you to repent so that the, so the anger of God will not descend upon you. Repent, 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 my brothers and sisters from such kind of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's go from verse 1 to end. First Thessalonians chapter 3. Chapter 3. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone, and we sent Timothy, our brother and God's co-worker in the gospel of Christ, to establish and exhort you in your faith, that no one be moved by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are destined for this. For when we were with you, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction, just as it has come to pass, and just as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent to learn about your faith, for fear that somehow the tempter had tempted you and our labor would be in vain. But now that Timothy has come to us from you, and has brought us the good news of your faith and love, and reported that you always remember us kindly, and long to see us as we long to see you. For this reason, brothers, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you through your faith. For now we live if you are standing fast in the Lord. For what thanksgiving can we return to God for you? For all the joy that we feel for your sake before our God, as we pray most earnestly night and day that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all as we do for you so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints Amen, amen. So shall it be in the name of Chapter 4. Let's now go straight now to our confession this morning. With the law, love, mercy, goodness, and bear with us forever. In Jesus' name. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want to miss me to lie down in green pastures. He led me beside the still waters. In the name of Jesus, he restored my soul. He lived me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. 
For you are with me, your rod and your side that comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are not my head with oil, my cup overflow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. In the name of Jesus. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the state of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. In the name of Jesus. My son in the Moses. He will cover you with his pinion and under his wing you find refuge. Your faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor the person that stalk in darkness, nor the destruction that was at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, yet you do not come near you. you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your burning place. The most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague will come near your tent in the name of you, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hand they will bear you up, unless you strike your foot against them. You will tread on the lion and the other, the young lion and serpent shall trap on that foot in the name of Jesus. Because you hold fast to me in love, I will deliver him, I will protect him because he knows my name in the name of Jesus. My son in here. When you call to me, I'll answer him, I'll be with him in trouble. I will rescue him, I will honor him, not love, I will satisfy him, I will show him my salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast Lord, my, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. He is my steadfast Lord and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in, and in whom I take refuge. Hallelujah. Most of these people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? Two of mine to think of him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Man is like a breath, he's dead like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, hold on, and come down. Turn the man and saw the smoke in the name of Jesus. Flash forward, the lightning has scattered them in the name of Jesus. Now, son, the more so could put you the balls in the end. Nini Moya. Hallelujah. Set out your arrow and rod them. Sweat out at your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. I will give to, I will give, and a victory to kings who rescued David his son from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, my son, in the name of Zorobo, Zoriba, Shiribo, Zoria, in the name of Zorobo, Zoria, may our sons in their youth be like a plant full grown, our daughters like a corner pillar, as called for such of a palace. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. May our granary be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap of failure in bearing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, this day. Blessed be the Lord. Be blessed are the people to whom so blessing for. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're coming to the end of this year. Blessings upon blessings. Open doors upon open doors. And a restoration upon restoration. And a recovery upon recovery. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray for healing, O Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, for sound or sound mind. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel not say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, hallelujah. When people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When the anger was kindled against us, the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prayer to their teeth. We have escaped like a bed from the snake of the fowler. The snake is broken. We have escaped because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you for all that you have done. 
Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. As you go out today, we come back with testimony. Father Lord, you lay the pillar of fire, pillar of cloud. Be with us throughout today. In the name of Jesus. May we born with the seven spirit of the Lord in every area of our lives. And then may we manifest the fruit of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And may we put on the whole armor of Christ today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And may Father Lord let your peace be upon Israel, Jerusalem, United Kingdom, and all the countries in the world. In the name of Jesus. And I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you will bless our leaders. Feed them with your spirit, O oh Lord Jesus. Give them wisdom and your understanding to lead us aright in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you make them an instrument of peace out there to our world in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, I pray you protect us Lord, as we go out. Mm, protect us, O oh Lord, and bring us back safely. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, O oh Lord. Thank you for the grace to overcome every form of challenge that you face today, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your spirit guiding us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, your glory be to your holy name for all that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all and have a very wonderful day. The rest of God will see you in the evening. Shalom to you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.